Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock. It's time for a mat test. We haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks. What is a mat test? Well, a mat test, very, very simply, is I show Matt a new trick and I get his opinion on what he thinks. Now, the mat test is evolving slightly. Why is it evolving? Well, very, very simply, it's evolving because Matt has become a magician. If you've been watching the match documentary over the last 13 weeks, he's trained to become a magician and he's going out and doing gigs now. He's doing kids gigs, he's doing close-up gigs, he's doing stage gigs. So because of that, I have to take a different approach with him. Because remember, even though he's out doing gigs and he's getting more experience, he's still only been in it for 13 weeks. So I'm still going to be doing the mat test. However, I'm going to be trying to pick material that I think will fool him. I'm going to be trying to pick material that I think he will have no idea how it's done. And today, I think I've got a doozy. I'm going to be showing him Picture Consequences by Joel uh, Joel Dickinson. So what is Picture Consequences? Well, myself and Rylan reviewed it on the review show recently. It fooled Rylan, so I'm very confident it's going to fool Matt. Uh, Picture Consequences is... Uh, a new trick by one of my favourite creators, Joel Dickinson. You can go see the review if you want to see more. But basically, uh, it's a really nice presentation for a prediction routine. where, And it's all tied up in, in an old game that you used to play as a kid. And getting them to join in playing this game. And you're able to predict every choice they make. It's very, very clever. It's self-contained. It's an instant reset. It's a different outcome every single time. So I'm going to uh, show you the performance to Matt. I'm going to show you exactly what Matt thinks about it and exactly what Matt, um, uh, uh, you know, what basically what, what Matt's thoughts. And then after that, I'm going to bring it back into the studio and we'll talk about uh, what happened with Matt. How are you doing, Matt? All right. You all right? Another, another day, another Matt test. Are we doing a mat test? We're doing a mat test. We haven't done one of these for ages. No, for ages. We've been too busy like learning how to be a magician. This is true. So I have to select the material for the mat test. Am it I has to be something it? that fools you. Am I going to know how this works? Well, you might do. I mean, you're now a, you're now a magician, aren't you? It's not, it's... I wouldn't go that far just yet, yeah. but I've learned a bit. You like to think you're a magician. Well, so, eventually. This is by a very good friend of mine. His name is Joel Dickinson. Okay. And it's based on an old game called Picture Consequences. Have you ever heard of it before? No. Okay, so you'll recognise it. There's like lots of different versions of this game. But basically, the idea of it is very simple. There's a few bits and pieces in here that you need in order to play the game. You get them all out for you. And I'll show you exactly what this is all about. I'm, I'm sure you'll have seen this before. You would have had one when you were a kid. This is the game board. Okay. You have a head, you have a middle, you have, a, uh, you have a, uh, legs. And then you have loads and loads and loads of different designs on different colours. You have loads of heads, loads of legs. Look at you. Uh, loads of legs, <laughs> loads of heads. And you have loads of middles. hair, that means that's you. Yeah, actually. You've got to point, point uh, Come back here. Uh, anyway. I'm trying to get them all around so you can see them. So they're all out. And the idea is that you've got to make the funniest picture. Using a head, uh, a middle and legs. And there are rules. I have the rules here. Okay. I'll show you the rules. The rules are very simple. Picture consequences. Uh, car uh, game, here, I'll put that over there. Um, game rules. Number one. So I'll show you and then you can have a go. Number one. Select a head to get started and place it on the board. So, for example, I might go for that and place it on the board and that would be my head. Okay. Number two. Select a body using a different background. So I can go for any body as long as it's got a different colour background. So that's yellow. So I can go for this one, for example. Do you get the idea? Yeah. And then three, pick some legs from an unused background to finish off your character. So that would have to be reds. So that's kind of a that's funny... That's green. Oh, sorry. You see? Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'll put the bear. And I'll put the squid legs because that would look really funny. Chef's head, bear middle, squid legs. Okay. So you're going to do it. So first of all, you get to create your own character. So first of all, we'll change the head. So what head would you like there instead? You're going to create your own unique character, completely different to mine. And then Michael, who's behind the camera, can decide whether mine's better or whether yours better. So Michael, this is mine. Okay. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now you get to choose yours. What head do you want? Uh, let's go green head. Okay, well, I'll put that there. He looks like he's doing the YMCA. Okay, green head. So now what, uh, what middle would you like? Um... Let's go the caveman. Caveman middle. Legs. Because he's, he's still a bit colour coordinated. Mm, kind of makes sense. He is a little bit. Legs. 
Uh, well, you can't, can you? Because that's. I know. Okay, so I've got to go. You can't. It's got to be to be red, so it'll be fish legs. Oh yeah, fish. unless you want one of those, in which case you can take away a middle or a head. No, it's but, fine. We'll go fish legs. Okay, you can change your mind if you want to. It makes no difference. Are you happy with that? Or yeah, you don't want to change your mind. No, fish legs are pretty funny. You could you could with fish legs. So now Although you fish don't have legs. Fish don't have legs. That is true. It's a fish tail. Fish tail. So what would you say is better, Michael? You remember mine. You remember. You see his. Which one's better? I'd say the bear squid's probably funnier. The bear squid. See, I won. Sorry, Matt. That's the game. You like Which it? Side are you on? <laughs> you like it? We can play again later if you want to. That's the game. That's the game. So, anyone that buys this game has to have a mic. <laughs> yes, for the, yeah, well, they need a judge. <laughs> but here's the thing: I mean, you played the game. You decided. You made a free choice of everything. I even said at the end you could change things around, right? Yeah. But this is the choice that you made, right? You went for that head, that middle, that leg. Now, you understand about forces. Did you feel forced in any way? No. Did you feel like at any point I made you pick that, or did that feel like a free choice? Yeah. Hmm? So like I say, this is my very good friend of mine. His name's Joel Dickinson. He's a very clever magician. A very entertaining and engaging magician. He runs a membership club. Um, a little bit like uh, Mar the Netflix and Lloyd Society of Secrets and okay. Christian's Magic Monthly. He runs his own membership club as well. Very creative guy. And one thing he specialises in, I mean, he does the best linking rubber bands routine in the world. Like, the best linking rubber bands routine in the world. But... Um, Outside of all of that, this is uh, is killer. This is this is his new trick, and and it does something that I like, which is taking a trick and making it up out of objects that people can relate to. Yeah, like you've seen like Cabernet my Nero. yeah 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 yeah, and you've seen my keymaster for example. Yeah, that's a trick with keys that everybody would carry around with you. Chop yeah. is another example. Yeah yeah yeah. This is another example. Everybody has seen a game like this. Yes. Uh, uh, their kids have had one, or they played one as a kid. It's, it's a classic kids game, and it builds this incredible prediction into it. I think, anyway. What do you think? I think I've got an idea. Okay, well, you are a magician. <laughs> you are a magician, which now, kind of. Um, you, you know, uh, I look at the mat test now as a, as, a, as a challenge. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Now, bearing in mind, I don't want to give anything away on this, but yeah, you can ask me a question. Okay. You don't want to give anything away? No. Should you have turned that box over? Yeah. Makes no difference. It's just a packaging on the box that's got nothing to do with it. Is it? Yeah, genuinely. It's got just the packaging in the box. The back is just the packaging on the box? Yeah. It really is. I don't know what you're trying to say. The back? Yes. That? Yes. That's just the packaging. Genuinely. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate. That there was multiple eights. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> look at you with your fancy dancy multiple outs. <laughs> I think you'll find <laughs> I think you find that Marlowe and Vernon had a session in the nineteen forties. <laughs> Fuck off with your multiple out. No, this is uh, well I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna say on camera whether you're right or wrong. Okay. Um but I mean the fact that you've got experience as a magician should also help. What do you think of the trick? I think it's cool. I like it. It's fun, isn't it? And you get like... It's fun. It's, it's colourful. Yeah, they're not like playing cards where everybody's seen a playing card. When you, when you first started with that, I was like, I have no idea where he's going with this. Yeah. And like, if you got that out at a party, if there were kids and stuff at a party, I think kids would really appreciate that. I think this is one of those tricks that will work on kids and would also work on yeah. adults. Like if you got drunk adults to put fish tail on a on a caveman's body, it, people are gonna like go for the funniest thing, and mm. I think it, yeah, it's something to um, think about because like if you've got all these different ones out there, mm. you're gonna be like, oh, okay, well that's going to look funny with that and blah 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 blah. I think it's a, it's a little bit 
when you're doing it, it's a little bit limited because once you've picked that, mm -hmm. you're out of options. So there's only one red legs. Yeah, but you could have had a red middle. You could have had a red middle, yeah. Or so you could have changed that to a different... Yeah, but there's only two, because you use one. So there's only one of each. Yeah. So you, once you've gone for... You've got, like, a choice of two. No, you've got a choice of three. No, because you use one. Yeah, but th th there's still more than one of each colour. Is there? Yeah, there's, like, 16 cards. Okay. I only saw one of each head. Yeah, there's, there's more than that. Is I don't it? know how many. I think there's like <laughs> no, there's definitely more than one of them. Yes, there is. Trust me. Okay. There, there definitely believe. is. I know how this trick works. I just did it. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away here, but th there is there is more. Well, there's two of the oh, same yeah, color there going. anyway. Okay. So yeah, there, there, there definitely is. Okay. You're, you're wrong on that. I am wrong. Okay. But I noticed when I got to the choice of the legs, I only had one choice. So it's change the middle card or go with whatever choice there is. Mm -hmm. So there may be more heads, but there wasn't many. Nothing wrong with having as much head as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's taking a turn again. Yep. Uh, but yeah, no, I like it. It's fun. Yeah. It's something different, isn't it? It's something different. It's something fun. It's something that's going to get people laughing. And it's something that you can do for adults and kids. So it would be great for close up and stuff if you do and weddings it, and people are sitting around tables you can get loads of people involved and picking different ones and yeah we haven't done a map test in a couple of months and this is a totally different conversation with you now <laughs> like, when you do restaurants and you go around the table when you do weddings and you go around the tables you can do the kids table and you can do get you with your, with your fancy dandy like knowledge about performing i haven't got a vast amount of knowledge but all the stuff that you talk about when you're talking about how it's going to work for different scenarios i'm kind of getting a picture of that now because i've done it I've been a, out, done times, it a couple yeah. of times a few times yeah so yeah so does it pass the map test yeah, well, I think it'll work. Would you do this? Yeah, I'd do it in the now, real world. In the real, seriously, would you do this in the real world? Yeah. Because I'm thinking about doing a Matt review show revisited, where you take some of the tricks in the Matt test, and you go and do them in the real world. Holy shit. So would you do this in the real world? Really? Would you do this in the real world? Yeah. Okay. It passes the Matt test. Come back here soon. Matt's going to go and do it in the real world, and we'll see if he sucks or not. <laughs> Oh, didn't I tell you? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so there you go. Now, first of all, Matt really liked it. He said to me later on off camera that this is something that he would love to do in his act, which I'm not surprised because Picture Consequences is a nice little mentalism trick. Matt's really into mentalism. And one thing that I love about Picture Consequences is it's the sort of thing that works for adults. It works for kids. And uh, I, I just think it's a great little mentalism trick. Whether he was fooled or not, I don't know. Um, I haven't really properly spoken to him about it. I think he was going down the right path. I think he was going down the right path, which means, basically, I need to work harder. Uh, but even though he was going down the right path, you heard him say how amazing it is. And honestly, it is amazing. The picture Consequences is a fantastic trick. It really is. And I highly recommend it to anybody. And as I say, Matt really wants to learn it because he wants to put it into his act. So, yeah, I mean... Um, Really got nothing else to say about that. I need to work harder. I need to think of some other tricks that I can show Matt. Bearing in mind, he's only got 13 weeks of experience. He knows some sleight of hand with cards and coins, but very, very limited. And he's obviously learned a lot of my tricks because he dems it on the stand. But beyond that, there's a lot he doesn't know. So help me out here, guys. Show me something or, or give me an idea of something that I can show him that uh, will fool the pants off him because that's what I want to do. I want to completely fool the pants off him. And even though he's got some experience, I want to be able to uh, say to him, you've got no idea how this is done, right? And I want it to be a marketed effect. So let me know in the comments. Bottom line, you know, picture consequences. I don't think fooled him, but it'll fool every single lay person you show it to. And he loved it. So, you know, picture consequences. I'm not sure if it passed the mat test, 
but I'm pretty sure that you liked it. So there you go, guys. That's another mat test in the bag. Like I said, in the comments below, please let me know what tricks you think I should do on Matt. My mission is to fool the pants off him so he doesn't get an ego the size of the planet or the size of me. So let me know in the comments down below what videos, uh, what uh, tricks you think I should do to Matt next. Also, don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video. Uh, and if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and check out the net tricks. It's www.thenettricks.com www.thenettricks.com go check it out and see what all the fuss is about i'll be back again soon thank you so much for watching my name's craig from magic tv